Hello, my beautiful Aries. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerson.com. Here to bring your love forecast for April 18th to 30th. Guys, don't forget to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. And remember, this is for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the overall, okay? Then we're going to get advice from the romance angels. And then at the end, I'm going to pull a couple cards for your career and finance, as well as health and wellness. So stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. So let's go to my Aries Romantic Love Life for April. 18th to the 30th. Let's go my Aries Romantic Love Life April 18th to the 30th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to. Okay, that feels good. What's going on my Aries Romantic Love Life for April 18th to 30th? Aries Romantic Love Life for April 18th to 30th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Feels good. What's going on my Aries Romantic Love Life for April 18th to 30th? Aries Romantic Love Life for April 18th to 30th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Feels good. All right, Aries. So it looks like in the current situation, you are having some indecisions here with the Two of Swords energy, as you can see. Yeah. So this is coming as a burden and a challenge to you. Uh, because it's something to do with strength or courage here. We have the bear card and the bear card represents strength, courage. It could be a boss. It could be uh, something to do with a parent, father, mother, or it's something to do with um, having strength and courage around the situation. And why is that there? To fulfill your wishes here. So there are some indecisions here. You're stuck in your head and you're trying to gain the strength to fulfill your wishes around the situation. So two is about choices, six is about healing recovery, and nine is about wishes being fulfilled here. So what's the, what's the blockage? So we have the, the devil card energy, which is bondage, addiction, depression, and procrastination here. There's some challenges here, and there are the blockage because of a particular person, because of an opportunity of true love or new love here with the ace of cups energy. So one or aces are about opportunities two plus eight is nine ten that needs to be completed so there's an opportunity here that needs to be completed something needs to be accomplished a completed situation here and there is some challenges around this obviously because of the fact there's some indecisions here because of courage and strength or possibly because of work or possibly because of a parent figure so and or just strength not having the strength to do it. Um, so it looks like at the uh, foundation of the matter, we have temperance. And temperance is here because of house and family. So temperance represents, uh, there's a person that's being patient because they want an equal give and take when it comes to house and family. And there's burden and responsibility. So there's a lot of burden on, on their mind or your mind here. Uh, or you're feeling a, little, a lot of responsibility when it comes to being close to home or house and family. And there's a patient energy because you're like, all right, I need something balanced here. For us about stability and stableness. And again, we got the 10 card, which represents something that needs to be completed. What happened in the past? Six of cups energy. Now, this could have been some kind of issue surrounding someone from your past, dealing with someone from your past, having a reconciliation or reminiscing about the past. Six of cups energy. And some kind of news or messages here with a writer card energy. Hence, some kind of things around passion there because Knight of Wands is definitely a passionate card there. So there was definitely some issues uh, or passionate messages or news from uh, somebody from your past or there was some reminiscing about some passion from the past here. Six represents healing recovery. One is an opportunity and nights are about action. So at the head of the matter, we have the three of wands. There's some waiting around because you're waiting for the right opportunity, waiting for success here with this card here. Let me also turn this down a little bit. See if I can get, yeah, that's better. Okay, hopefully you guys can see me now. <laughs> okay, so we have the Three of Wands energy, which shows me that there's some waiting for the right opportunity, waiting for success. And this seems to be the challenge around the situation with the Snake card energy because of some kind of risk or taking a leap of faith here, as you can see. So three is about building or working towards something here, and seven's a lot of thinking, contemplating 
all right? Or maybe for some of you, you have more than one choice or options around the situation. So what is going on in the near future? Hmm, three of swords energy, something to do with heartache here because of love. Heart is love. And the King of Swords shows me Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Somebody is trying to be logical here. They're trying to be logical and they're trying to be wise in their decision making or there's something to do with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Three again is working towards a situation, building towards that four energy. Or there's more than one choice or option when it comes to love, romance, and healing. And the king represents wisdom around this. Wise decisions, what, um, you know, using their head intelligence around the situation or something to do with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, so it looks like subconsciously there's a defeated energy within you. You're like, okay, should I stand up and fight or walk away? I do feel like you know that there's some type of opportunity or some kind of success here with the key card energy. And it definitely looks like you possibly want to explore this with the page of wands being here. Um, or send a message of passion here or explore what's what's there. Because uh, five is about change or challenges and six is about healing and recovery and pages are about potential opportunities. So... What's going on with the influence? Ah, that's the emperor energy. It's just like that bear card energy. So we got the emperor energy here. So this could be a boss. This could be work. This could be uh, an, like a fatherly figure or just feeling like someone wants control around the situation. Something structure, some kind of structured organization situation that was a surprise about it or something unex unexpected about the situation with the bouquet being there. And it was around house and family stability and stableness with that Four of Wands energy. So four is about stability and stableness. Nine is about wishes fulfilled. So there's some controlling factors here around this situation. And uh, the bouquet represents uh, a gift or a surprise about the situation. Um, and it involves marriage or stability or long-term commitment. Four of Wands is influencing this. So what's your hopes and fears? So you're hoping to end some kind of hurt or pain with the Ten of Swords energy, or maybe you're fearing that somebody's gonna get hurt when it comes to commitments, marriage, engagement there with the ring card energy, and that they're going to be defensive about things with the Nine of Wands energy. So seven's about a lot of thinking and contemplating, nine is about wishes being fulfilled, and 10 is a completion around this situation. So let us see what the heck the outcome is gonna be here, okay. So we got six of pentacles. Now this represents charity. It's a charitable card. It's a card of balance. It's wanting an equal give and take. Also six energy is a healing recovery kind of number, but there's a person that feels that their hands are tied in this situation. So there's, there is that feeling like my hands are tied. I want an equal give and take here. You know, I, I want things to be balanced in this situation. And I feel that my hands are tied mentally. I'm like, Feeling like there's nothing I can do about it. And the reason is, is because of arguments and disputes or competition here or some kind of challenges around the situation. So let's see what the six is about. <sighs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. There's a person that's being patient, trying to figure out, should I get my cup of love? Should I not get my cup of love? And why is that there? Because uh, there's a person that's at a crossroads and they need to make a choice here. Okay. Why is the eight of swords here? Because there's a person that just is like, look, I want to defend my position. I have the higher ground. I feel like I can win this. And why is that there? Because this is causing stress and anxiety, right? With the mice card energy. Or something needs to be taken away pertaining to choices or something needs to be taken from this or these, this crossroad this person's at is causing stress and anxiety. Why is the five of wands here? Queen of pentacles. So we have... Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Another patient energy. Should I, should I not kind of energy. There could be uh, somebody trying to get some advice or there's two choices here and that's why there's not an equal give and take. And this is like making someone feel like, my God, my hands are tight in the situation. There's nothing I can do about it. And then we have the dog card energy. So there is... There's a person that's at a crossroads because of stress and anxiety around the situation or a choice that needs to be made, which is causing stress and anxiety. And this issue is about loyalty or friends are helping to influence this in some way and causing this um, conflict uh, or challenges around this situation. Because six is about healing and recovery. Eight is about putting the work or effort into it. Then you got five 
which is to do with changes or challenges around the situation. And then you have a lot of thinking and contemplating going on. And there's a patient energy around this because of stability and stableness. Because there's a person that's like, I don't, I don't know if this is going to fulfill my wishes. The nine energy. All right. Sorry about that, Aries. I was saying Leo, so I refilmed this part. Okay, so what's going on, my Aries? Romantic love life. Can I have some advice for my Aries? Romantic love life. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we got something pertaining to a past relationship. And taking some time out to think about things and contemplate things because you have to figure out do you have enough chemistry and attraction to keep this relationship going all right so now let's take a look at your career and finance can i have some advice for my aries career and finance can i have some advice for my aries career and finance show me the cards i need to see show me the cards i need to see okay so clearing debts here so clearing debts is going to be very important for you guys for the rest of this month. All right. And let's take a look at your health and wellness. What's going on my Aries health and wellness for April 18th to the 30th? What's going on my Aries health and wellness for April 18th to the 30th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So, oh my God. Every sign is getting this card. Uh, so you're going to get an increase in energy increase this this uh, rest of this month. Spirit is going to fill you with unlimited energy and divine love and light. All right, my Aries. <laughs> I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And I will be seeing you soon. I will be releasing X returns very soon. Probably either uh, tomorrow or Sunday. I love you guys so much. And stay safe. I love you guys.